my Sears Tower. So we didn't get far. Um, I'm standing outside of my apartment complex. We just got everything moved out. The keys turned into the office and my car won't start because when we were moving stuff in for the last hour, I had my blinkers on to let traffic know because this is the easiest way to get to and from my apartment is this little side street. And I didn't think that they would drain the battery. So yeah, car battery died. We haven't even begun the trip yet. It, we were wanting to leave like 30 minutes ago, and now we have to wait for a AAA tow truck to come and jumpstart my car. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that is all that is wrong with this because, gosh, I, I had that feeling in the back of my head, like the last thing I want is car trouble. I got new tires on the car before leaving. I got the oil changed, and I, I totally screwed up and left the blinkers on for like an hour, not thinking that that would completely drain the batteries. So. Yeah, we're off to a slower start than expected, but Route 66 is still going to happen today. It's just gonna be, yeah, a little bit of a crunch. Got the AAA guy showed up and we are jumping Mas 6. I hope this works. So I do in fact need a new battery. So I'm luckily he's got new batteries and we are gonna get the old one switched out the new one put in and hopefully no more car issues the rest of the way all right the new battery is working great so we are gonna hit the road we're gonna keep moving on hopefully no more no more car troubles what's going on everyone my name is eric and this is the get me out of here vlog i am in the heart of chicago the windy city the second city and right behind me is the beginning of historic Route 66, the Mother Road, one of the greatest road tripping journeys one can take here in the United States. This is something that has been on my bucket list for years, and I am so excited to bring this to you today. Me and my brother are taking a seven day journey on Route 66. Starting today, we're gonna to be crossing from Chicago to St. Louis. And eventually, seven days from now, we'll be ending up in Phoenix, Arizona. Now we're gonna be taking Route 66 from Chicago to Flagstaff, and then I am actually moving to Phoenix. I live in Schaumburg, Illinois, just checked out today, and we'll be moving into my new place in Phoenix by the end of next week. And so we'll be taking Route 66 from Chicago to Flagstaff, Arizona, and south to Sedona, and then veering off towards Phoenix after that. Now I will, do the rest of this trip sometime in the near future from Flagstaff to Santa Monica Pier in Los Angeles. But for now, we're gonna be doing about 80% of this trip and I am so pumped to bring this to you. So follow me on an epic road trip journey along historic Route 66. This is day one in Illinois. <laughs> Route 66. We're gonna hit the dusty trail here in a moment. We're here in downtown Chicago. All right, man. Oh, stickers on it. What do you think? Route 66? Do it. <laughs> right in front of me is Cloudgate, more commonly known as the Bean here in Chicago. It made its debut in 2006 and is probably one of the more popular tourist attractions, if not the most popular tourist attraction here in the city of Chicago. Going to get a closer look of the bean. Definitely one of the more popular attractions, like I said earlier, in Chicago. Look at that, I'm here in front of the bean. 
And I love seeing all the buildings, the skyline kind of distorted in the background there. Definitely a very unique piece of art and it works. It works, it's very interactive, which is what I love about it. And I think is appropriate for Route 66. This is just a couple blocks away from the beginning of Route 66. Connor, you I can't believe you've never been to the Bean. What do you think about the Bean? It's very, it's very shiny. It's very shiny. It's very nice. It's also kind of dirty, man. Look at these fingerprints. Yeah, it looks disgusting. Dude, I'll give you, I'll give you five bucks if you lick the bean. Now, as fun as it is to pose on the outside of the bean, I actually like walking underneath because it's even crazier in here. Look at this. It's like a funhouse mirror. Look at that. I'm like stretched out and there's like multiple multiple clones of me stretched out in this weird wavy pattern under the beam hmm. always a fun experience coming to the bean here in chicago cloud gate is the formal name and yeah, it made its debut in 2006, so it's a, still a fairly new attraction here in Chicago. But this is a symbol of Millennium Park. We have one more spot that I want to showcase, and then we're going to be hitting the road and leaving the great city of Chicago. And I'm, I, I, it's emotional for me because I've lived here in Schaumburg, in the Chicagoland area, for almost nine years. And I'm now moving to Phoenix, Arizona after this trip. So this is the last time I'm going to see Chicago for quite a while. So yeah, just taking it all in one last time. Again, this is my favorite city when it comes to architecture. This is the birthplace of the skyscraper. It's not New York, it's Chicago. This is where the skyscraper came from. And uh, yeah. Bittersweet, taking it all in for the last time. Buckingham Fountain, one of the largest fountains in the world. This made its debut here in Chicago in 1927. And just look at that beautiful skyline here, that beautiful Chicago skyline. Oh, the, the spray from this fountain feels so good right now. It's like 85 degrees out, it's early June, and uh, God, it feels great. I wanted to point out too that Lake Michigan is right here behind me. The Great Lakes of North America. This is Lake Michigan, the second largest lake in North America after Lake Superior. And I kind of count this as the official starting spot for Route 66. The shores of Lake Michigan, Buckingham Fountain, and taking it all the way west to the Pacific Ocean at Santa Monica Pier in California. So it's kind of like one water body of water to another. Lake Michigan to the Pacific Ocean. All right, Connor, we've walked around, we've seen Millennium Park, we've seen Grant Park, we've gotten a little bit of a taste of the city of Chicago. We're ready to hit the mother road. So let's get out of Chicago and get get going. I guess south, we're going southbound. Yeah. No, to St. Louis. Like actually southwest. <laughs> well, technically, but we're going southbound across the state of Illinois to St. Louis. That'll be our final destination for tonight. So this is day one on the mother road. Follow us. Get out of here. Also wanted to share that that is the Sears Tower right there. That was one time the tallest skyscraper in the world for almost 25 years. But yeah, Chicago, what a beautiful, beautiful skyline. Gonna miss ya. Here we go, Route 66, starting now. All right, Connor, you're the navigator. So to my left is the Berghoff. The Berghoff is a famous restaurant here in Chicago, and it's actually another very famous spot to grab a, eat, to grab a bite to eat here on Route 66. I've actually never been there before. So someday when I come back to Chicago, I'll have to try that place out. They did film scenes from the Dark Knight movie from 2008 uh, there at that Berghoff restaurant. Oh, and there's another Route 66 sign there on the right. Yeah, that was really easy. Just keep following the keep summits. following the Route 66 sides. 
what's awesome that I actually didn't realize until recently is the Sears Tower, which was one time the tallest skyscraper in the world, is actually on Route 66. It's up here on the left. So right here to my left is the Sears Tower, that glass facade, right there on my left. Goodbye, Sears Tower. I'll miss you. So we went 10 blocks on Route 66 in Chicago and we've already hit a detour. We've hit road construction. So we won't be able to proceed forward on one of the original Route 66 routes, but uh, we're gonna take just, we're just gonna go around a couple blocks and then find, find a way back on it right now. To the left is Henry's. They, they have a big hot dog on the roof. Ooh, an RC Cola. Welcome to fabulous McCook, Illinois. Gotta love the Las Vegas Googie style sign. So we're actually, and we're, we've been following the historic Illinois Route 66 signs. And the last one just said, use Interstate 55. So we, we got onto Interstate 55, which is now kind of the modern day version of Route 66. But we'll be jumping off and doing a bunch of the actual road, which I think through most of the state of Illinois goes back and forth, east and west of, of uh, Interstate 55 as we go south towards St. Louis. The Des Plaines River. This bridge is so cool. Look at that old car. Wow. Here. That was awesome. Here in Joliet, Illinois. We're standing between the Gemini Giant's legs. Well, we made it to Wilmington, Illinois at the launching pad, and look at this, the Gemini Giant, one of the most prominent symbols of Route 66. He's a classic muffler man made out of fiberglass, and he's got this space helmet on his head and a rocket. Oh, this is iconic. It doesn't get better than this on Route 66, and he's been standing here since the mid-1960s, the launching pad opened up as a restaurant back in 1960. It's actually here right behind me and they, they are open currently with a gift shop inside so we'll be jumping in there in a bit but first had to stand in front and pay tribute to the Gemini Giant. <laughs> and my birthday is May 30th so I too am a Gemini. At least according to my horoscope. I don't really believe in that stuff but yeah. We're Geminis! All right. Okay, we're going to stand, stand underneath the Gemini giant. Get up between his legs. Doesn't get better than that. Look at that, he's got a rocket above my head. But anyway, this is the Gemini giant. We're going to go inside the launching pad. I hope we got maybe a bobblehead of him or maybe some magnets. I don't know. But Connor, what do you think? Oh, it's a good muffler, man. It's a good muffler, man. It seems sturdy. He has a bird problem. Look, there's a bird perched in his helmet. That's a real bird. I thought that was fake for a second. There is a bird perched in the Gemini Giant's helmet. It makes me wonder, is there a bird's nest in the Gemini Giant? This is awesome. Look inside the launching pad. They've got Route 66 tables, cars, Buddy Holly music playing, this old jukebox. And look at this mural here. You got the Gemini giant with the city of Chicago off in the distance and the road that continues on and on west to Hollywood, California. Oh, Burma shave signs. Oh, I just missed it. You can see the final sign there, the Burma shave. Oh, we gotta be on the lookout for those. Those are classic advertisements that you'll see along, oh, on my left here too. Burma shave. She kissed the hairbrush by mistake. She thought it was her husband Jake. Burma shave. Oh yeah. Classic roadside advertisement. You don't see billboards on the side of the road like that anymore. That is a that is a golden age of advertising here along Route 66. Just got to Pontiac, Illinois, and this is the route. 66 Museum and they've got so much information here on the entire route starting with Chicago you can see there's the Berghoff restaurant which I pointed out earlier on this video uh, they're famous for root beer 
Um, still have never been to the Burgau, so that's some, something on my bucket list next time I make it back out to Chicago. And I love seeing this because my brother and I just ate at Del Reyes last night for dinner, and uh, they have an award here for the best dressed chicken in town. Of course, if you're going to talk about travel in Illinois, you have to bring up McDonald's. And the reason being, yes, McDonald's was originally created in California, but Ray Kroc, who later on purchased the first franchise McDonald's restaurant and turned it into what we know it is today, uh, he was from Illinois in the suburbs of Chicago. So the McDonald's is actually headquartered to this day in the city of Chicago. And there you go, a little Illinois memorabilia there for the road. Wouldn't be Illinois without a Lincoln bobblehead. Take a look at this. This is absolutely incredible. They've got Bob Waldmeyer's van. Now, Bob Waldmeyer, his parents owned the Cozy Dog in Springfield, a famous corn dog restaurant along Route 66. And Bob would travel up and down Route 66. He was an artist, and he, he spent most of his adult life traveling in this van up and down Route 66 between Chicago and Los Angeles. In fact, he's become such an icon along the route here. He has even as a character in the movie Cars. This character here, the hippie van, named Fillmore in the Cars movies was based off of Bob Waldmeyer. In fact, Bob Waldmeyer, he, this is one of his cartoons. You can see him driving this very yellow van that I'm looking at, having an encounter with the character in Cars, Fillmore. Now, Bob passed away in 2009 and his van, and there's also an even larger bus that he would traverse Route 66 in outside the museum that I'll show you in a bit, but this is so cool. I mean, it looks like it looks like everything's been left the way it was when he lived in this van and traveled the mother road. Right there is a picture of Bob Waldmeyer standing next to this van out west in the desert. Just an absolute icon with regards to the history of Route. 66 and his cartoons are extremely popular and they sell some of these at the museum as well as at the cozy dog stand in springfield illinois the, the very restaurant his parents owned and ran you can see sketches of his cartoons right there in the van he did a lot of artwork about iconic spots along route 66 and he's really just an incredible artist. Look at that here is a front seat view. This is where Bob Waldmeyer would have been driving his van, checking out the sights along Route 66. Oh, I just saw they have the cozy dog, cozy dogs right there in plush form. It's kind of a cool nod to his parents and his past. Oh, that's cool too. Did you know he has the whole roof? Oh, I didn't know he even had the whole roof. Just noticed this too. Bob Waldmeyer has the entire Route 66 route from Chicago to Santa Monica, California, illustrated on the side of his van. That is so awesome. There's even a display on the famous Cozy Dog Drive-In Cafe in Springfield, Illinois, created by Ed Waldmeyer, that was Bob Waldmeyer's father, in Springfield in 1948. The famous hot dog on a stick. And we will be visiting that location here in uh, hopefully that within the next hour and going to be devouring a cozy dog ourselves. Look at this wall of Illinois license plates. What's cool is they have these in order of their dates. So these license plates up here in the top left corner, these date as far back as 19, 
11, 1915, 1916, the 1940s, 50s, and so forth up to 1984. So 100 years ago, if you were an Illinois resident, 1922, that would be your license plate on your old Model T. Just walked upstairs at the Route 66 Museum. It's definitely got more of an old timey theme up here. I can hear some old music. And look, it's Marilyn Monroe holding a scarf. And what the heck is going on with her mouth? I'm getting Harley Quinn vibes over here. There's an old toy section, 1940s, what children did. So they got a bunch of old timey toys, but look how creepy this doll is. What is going on with those eyes? Imagine if it just winks. Music of the 40s. City on the move. Look at all these cool tunes from back in the day. Of course, you have to have some Frank Sinatra. They also have a 1940s house on display. This is what my grandparents grew up in. You know, the old refrigerator. I love these old radiator heaters. I actually had one in a fraternity house I lived in back at in college at University of Iowa in Iowa City. And I actually have always loved those things. Just just don't touch these when they when they get hot. They are hot to the touch. I burned my hand. I burned my hand several times on a old radiator heater. I gotta love the old television box. The old telly. And of course some more Route 66 photos, the Gemini Giant, which we just saw, some old gas stations, and Funk's Grove is an awesome syrup farm. They make maple syrup. We won't have time to hit that today. That's something I've always wanted to see, but we just won't have the time for it. And of course, a lot of the Blues Brothers out of Chicago, another old-timey gas station. So just so much to see on Route 66 here in the state of Illinois. Holy cow, just walked up some more stairs. There's a whole photo gallery of Route 66 locations. I think most of these are in New Mexico and Texas in this room. Just all kinds of iconic stops along the way that I'm looking forward to seeing with my own eyes over the next coming days. We have a lot of ground to cover. Seven days is not nearly enough to see it all, but we will do what we can just leaving the gallery i realized that these are jail cell doors what is this an old is this an old jail must be. i have no idea this must be an old prison or something look at that oh there's a toilet over here too what the heck don't use it look at this do not use this is not working a working toilet that's hilarious so apparently the route 66 museum is in an old Jail. I, I had no idea. Look, there's even bars on the window. All right, see you later, Connor. I gotta hit the road. You're gonna be locked in for a while here in Pontiac. You'll never find the way out. <laughs> I am your navigator. <laughs> <laughs> you are my navigator. There are so many rooms in this museum. I had no idea. They have a whole section called the Bob Waldmeyer Experience. Here's a great picture of Bob Waldmeyer standing by the very van we were looking at downstairs. And look at all of his artwork on display. Dracula sucks. He did so much iconic artwork for Route 66. His heart, his passion for the Mother Road is just so clearly on display here. This is so cool. I mean, look at that. Watch out, Connor. Do not provoke the snakes. No. Says, watch out, watch out. Don't, oh, oh gosh. Oh no. I'm not gonna suck out that venom, man. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Where are you from? Well, I've been living in Schaumburg for the past nine years, but I had to rep my hometown, Okaboji, Iowa. Another hot vacation spot in Iowa. It's a popular lakes region. So if you've never been, you need to go. And of course, Connor, you live in Denver. Colorado. <laughs> Loving the jackalope. 
you know, those are hard to find in the wild, right, Connor? Still looking for one. <laughs> Still looking for one, huh? Was just told by the woman at the front desk that this artwork here was also okay. drawn and painted by Bob Waldmeyer himself. This is the entire Route 66 route through the state of Illinois, from Chicago to East St. Louis. And you can see they have all the iconic places you can visit along the way as well. And right now we, we are in Pontiac, so we've got a, a long road ahead of us still. So we have to keep moving. Look at this, this is Bob Waldmeyer's bus. His own personal camper that he built and traveled Route 66 and he lived in this, he slept in this. This was his road warrior machine. Just look at that. Now it's locked right now. We're unable to get inside the bus, but it looks like you can, oh, you can't even peek inside. I was hoping maybe I could look in but they got the drapes up. But yeah, just take a look at this. So not only did he drive around in the hippie van that he has inside this museum on display, right outside the Route 66 Museum is the very bus slash camper that he also lived and traveled Route 66 in. And across the street, look at this incredible get your kicks on old Route 66 in Illinois with none other than Bob Waldmeyer, that's a painting of him, putting together this, this route, this amazing mural depicting Route 66, Arizona, and actually that's some of Bob's original artwork where the states are noted. Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and of course, Illinois. Wow, that's amazing. Here in downtown Pontiac. This has got to be one of the most epic murals on the Mother Road, outside the museum. Yeah, we're doing this. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> Yeah, let's get back on the road. Good idea. Good idea. Driving south of Pontiac, you can actually see the old Route 66 to my right. It's this beat up, grass, overgrown, cracked trail. That is the original Route 66, right there to the right of the road I am on. There's an old bridge. Oh, yeah, there's an old bridge, perhaps? Or at least, yeah, right there, an old Route 66 bridge. That's awesome. Huh. So that's where you get the stamp. No stamp for us. No stamp at Sprogs. We finally got a break today. Look at the interstate to my left. It is standstill traffic as far as the eye can see. Yet we're here on Route 66 and we are cruising by. So see, Route 66 still has its benefits. So it appears that there has been a major accident on Interstate 55, which is the road just to the left of, of me. You can see all those trucks, and there are a ton of lights up ahead, like police, car lights, I'm sure ambulances. So something happened up here. And you can see that traffic's even slowed here on Route 66 because they've, they've been um, transferring the traffic from Interstate 55 to Route 66 right now. So this is insane. I have never seen, God, how many miles do you think this was? Like 10? Oh yeah, easily. At least 10 miles of complete standstill traffic here on Interstate 55. Oh yeah, you could. there's something big up here. And this is just south of Bloomington, Illinois. Jeez. Oh, dude, look at that truck. It's on, it was on fire. The whole cab is smashed. Jesus. Jeez. Oh. The what entire happened? cab of that truck is smashed. What happened? 
All right, well, we're moving along. That's the good news, but uh, prayers to the people involved in that accident because I don't think there were survivors on that. That looked terrible. The front of that semi-truck was completely smashed in, charred up. You could tell there was a major fire. The cab was completely gone, and there was uh, several cars completely smashed and covered in tarps. So that is one of the craziest car accidents I've ever seen. Not just I-55, but I think in my life. That was insane, dude. Well, we are gonna drive cautiously, uh, but we're moving again. So Route 66 is moving much quicker than Interstate 55 today, so that that's the good news. So hopefully we can keep trekking forward towards Springfield, Illinois. Just met a bunch of bikers from the United Kingdom and they are on a Route 66 journey right now outside, well, below the Paul Bunyan Muffler Man here in Atlanta, Illinois. Well, I'm here in Atlanta, Illinois, and behind me is another famous muffler man. This one's name is Paul Bunyan, and you can see instead of an ax, he's holding a giant hot dog. Now, the story is, originally, back in 1965, this very muffler man holding the hot dog was in Cicero, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago, advertising a hot dog business called Bunyan's, and at some point after 2003, it was commissioned here to the city of Atlanta, Illinois, where it, it has stood tall over the main street along US Route 66. I'm not really sure how tall he is. 26 and a half feet. Is that what that says on the bulletin or you just knew that? Just guess. 26 and a half feet tall. How long do you think his wiener is? <laughs> right next to Paul Bunyan, they also have another map of Route 66. Yes, we have a long ways to go. We're in Atlanta, making slow progress to St. Louis, where we're going to be staying the night. And uh, because of all the delays we had, especially with my car battery dying this morning, I was really hoping to eat pie here at the grill across the street. The Palms Cafe, they are known for very very good pie along route 66 i've actually this has been a bucket list item for me for a long time driving back and forth between chicago and st louis and again didn't get to do it today it is closed it's after five o'clock and no pie so i'm bummed someday i really want to try some of their sweet pie here in atlanta illinois See, my, my head doesn't even get even close to the top of this wheel. That is one big covered wagon. I am in Lincoln, Illinois, and behind me is, according to Guinness World Records, the world's largest covered wagon with Abraham Lincoln himself on top with his nose buried in a book. I don't know what book he's reading. There's no title on the cover, so it, anybody could guess. Maybe it's Harry Potter. Maybe it's Huckleberry Finn. Who knows? But this is the world's largest covered wagon and Abraham Lincoln sitting on top in the town of Lincoln, Illinois. In fact, Lincoln, Illinois was the first town and the only town in the United States named Lincoln while Abraham Lincoln was still alive. So Abraham Lincoln was well aware that this town existed and was named after him. So yeah, the world's largest covered wagon here, just off historic Route 66. So we've made it to Springfield, Illinois, the capital of the state of Illinois and the hometown of Abraham Lincoln. And we're grabbing some corn dogs at the famous Cozy Dog drive-in. Now this restaurant has been open here since 1948. It was started by Ed 
Waldmeyer, who was the father of Bob Waldmeyer. And this is an, an iconic spot to grab some food here along Route 66. So let's go inside and grab a corn dog at the famous well, Cozy Dog. Okay. It's also a tradition here in Springfield. You have to rub Lincoln's nose. Um, that actually might be an Illinois thing too, but it's especially popular here in the city of Springfield. It's a good luck charm. And take a look at this. Cozy Dog makes their own that. premium cola. And you got what, the Mother Road, Route 66, Route 66, and Connor, right you got here. the premium road. Oh, that was quick. And dinner is served. Look at that. Oh, it's rolling off. It's rolling away. Dog on the loose. Dog on the loose. Got it. But this is a cozy dog. It's a classic corn dog. Connor, you dug right into that, man. <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are the classic cozy dogs. Bon appetit, time to dig in. If I can keep that on the table. All right, my uncle and aunt who live in uh, Springfield. Favorite uncle and aunt. Favorite uncle and aunt. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Route 66. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's great. Well, here we have it the cozy dog. Let's take a bite of this. It's, it's been a while. I've been here before, but it's been a while. You've been here before? Mm-hmm. Oh, hot. It's yeah, hot. This is our third time seeing him last month. Oh. We haven't seen you since the wedding. Because you cut the bouquet. It's so yeah. hot. So good, though. Classic corn dog. I mean, this is this is a Route 66 establishment. Again, it's been here since 1948. And uh, it's just, you have to stop here if you're in yeah, Illinois, you period. You got to do it. So anyway, the cozy dog. Oh, just look at these two corn dogs getting cozy together. I think they're in love. PT Cruiser. I still think these are some of the ugliest cars ever made, but for some reason they seem to be making a comeback. I, I've noticed a PT Cruiser on the road almost every day the last two years, but they haven't made PT Cruisers in over 10 years. So what, what's going on here? Are old PT Cruisers getting hip? Are they making a comeback? Here, I've also noticed they have a Oscar Meyer Wiener mobile hanging in the Cozy Dog? Wouldn't that be a rival of theirs? Also on display here is Ed Waldmeyer's book collection from when he was alive. And there's a picture of Ed Waldmeyer up there and his wife, Virginia. And they're calling this the Edwin Waldmeyer Memorial Library here in Cozy Dog. Well, the sun has set and we are on probably the oldest stretch of Route 66 that we've seen up to this point. Look how narrow the road is and it's in very bad condition. It's very bumpy. This is just southwest of Springfield, Illinois, but pretty soon we'll be coming across one of the original brick sections of Route 66. Look at this, we found the brick road. The Route 66 brick road, this is freaking awesome. Wow, and this is from like 1926 to 1930. Surprisingly not that bumpy. This is freaking, this is actually smooth. <laughs> I know, I wonder how often they, they have to fix it up. This is freaking cool. This is freaking awesome, the brick road. An original section of Route 66. This is real brick. And look, it's an original, oh, it's an old Route 66 bridge. I am walking on the brick road of Route 66 here in Illinois, south of Springfield, Illinois. And look, it's an old original brick, or it's an old original bridge now i've noticed a lot of the route 66 bridges have this concrete design that is so cool so here we are a brick road and an original bridge 
here on Route 66 in Illinois. Don't jump, don't jump, Cutter. <laughs> Got my car headlights shining. The sun has set. It's about nine o'clock at night and we still have quite a ways to go, but we're getting there towards St. Louis. Again, that car battery dying this morning really put us off to a late start. So glad it happened at home and not on the road, but yeah, it, it really put us back on the day, but we're still finding fun things and adventurous things to do here on Route 66. This is freaking amazing. Yeah, that's a little better. I don't have the, the light shining on the camera here. So this is freaking awesome. So here we are, one of the original segments of Route 66 from 1926 to 1930, the original brick that we are walking on. So yeah, this is great. All right, well, we're gonna keep trekking and get to St. Louis. It's still a decent amount on the way. So let's keep going. Your shadow's like dancing around. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really funny, actually. <laughs> Dude, your, your shadow's dancing. Look at this courthouse here in Macoupin County, the town of Carlinville. This is one of the most elegant, grandiose courthouses I've ever seen for a county seat. This is a thing of beauty. I, I don't know how old this building is, but I wanted to point that out. This is, Carlinville is a very cool town along Route 66. We finally made it to St. Louis, checking in here at the Union Station Hotel. This is an old train station that they converted into this incredible ritzy hotel. They actually do light shows up here. I've seen them before in the past. We missed them tonight, but they still have a lot of colorful arrays up here in this arched ceiling that they, they will keep this way for quite some time. There's also an amazing cocktail bar over here as well, but we've had a long day driving on Route 66 from Chicago. We've got plenty more coming, another six days of Route 66 ahead of us. Tomorrow, we'll, my brother and I will be departing St. Louis and heading westward across Missouri, a little corner of Kansas and into Oklahoma. So join us, there'll be plenty more. But for now, we're beat. We're gonna get checked in and call it a night. This is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Thanks for watching. It's time for me to get out of here.